What if Sidney Crosby never got injured? In 2011, Sidney Crosby got absolutely clobbered by David Steckel. Who the hell is that guy? Sidney Crosby has had concussion issues ever since, so what if he never got hurt? Let's find out. All right, Sidney Crosby, 18 years old, a 91 overall, which I think is very fitting considering he put up 100 points in his rookie year. Also, I forgot to mention I did turn injuries off because we don't need Crosby getting absolutely clobbered and getting another concussion. In Crosby's first season, the Penguins did not make the playoffs. They were absolutely terrible. They finished with a 25, 51 and 6 record. <laughs> That's terrible. Crosby would also have an absolute shit year. Only 21 goals and 63 points. Shout out Mika Zibanejad. And the Vegas Golden Knights would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby would take home the Calder. Heading into his second season, Crosby is now a 92 overall. A Crosby and Bedard duo? That's absolutely filthy. The Penguins had another terrible year, finishing dead last in their division. Crosby had a good second year, scoring 30 goals and 102 points. Nathan McKinnon absolutely lit up the league. 122 points, 57 goals, Jesus Christ. And somehow the Anaheim Ducks go on to win the Stanley Cup in year number two. Shout out Troy Terry taking home the Conn Smythe. Shout out Crosby taking home the Selkie in his second season. Sidney Crosby is now a 94 overall. The Penguins would yet again finish dead last in their division. Crosby had 33 goals and 99 points. Not bad, but not great either. I'm holding Crosby to a bit of a higher standard here. Well, I ate my words there. He tied for the most points in the league at 99. And the Vegas Golden Knights would win another Stanley Cup. Shout out William Nylander winning the Conn Smythe for Vegas. That is a very weird scenario. We have an absolute lethal first line with Gensel, Crosby, and Bedard. There's no excuse for us not being in the playoffs. Yet again, the Pittsburgh Penguins will finish dead last in the division. Despite Pittsburgh being absolutely trash, Crosby had a good year. He had 28 goals and 113 points. And the Florida Panthers would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Shout out Sid the Kid, picking up the Art Ross. Matthew Kachuk would take home the Conn Smythe. Crosby is now a 95 overall. The Penguins would have a better year, I guess? They finished above 500 with a 42, 35, and 5 record, but they still missed the playoffs. Crosby would absolutely tear the league up. He had 41 goals and 135 points. And the Florida Panthers won another Stanley Cup. Shout out Crosby, another at Ross. Matthew Kachuk with back-to-back Conn Smythe trophies. Going into year six, Sidney Crosby is a 95 overall. Hopefully this will be the year that we make the playoffs. Finally, the Penguins have made the playoffs. They finished second in the Metro with a 47, 28, and 7 record. Crosby would have another huge year, scoring 48 goals and 125 points. Sidney Crosby is not messing around in his very first postseason. The Penguins are in the Stanley Cup Finals against the Minnesota Wild. Take us home, Sidney. Slap me silly, Sidney. We are currently in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals. In Game 5, somehow we lost 10-3 in a Stanley Cup Finals game. That's absolutely embarrassing. Embarrassing. And they've done it. Sidney Crosby in his very first postseason will win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I did not see this coming. Your Conn Smythe winner is of course Sidney Crosby. Here he is, Sidney Crosby lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. Slap me silly, Sidney. I am chubbed up right now. <laughs> what? Crosby would have a monster postseason, scoring 14 goals and 45 points in only 26 games. Hey, look at Bedsy chipping in. 13 goals, 31 points, not bad. Crosby would take home the Art Ross, the Hart, the Ted Lindsay, and of course the Conn Smythe, all in one season. Crosby is still a 95 overall. The Penguins made the playoffs for a second year in a row. Crosby had another great year, scoring 35 goals and 107 points which was tied for the most in the league. Holy shit, McKinnon, you scored 59 goals? Calm down, buddy. And we would end up losing in the third round to the eventual Stanley Cup champions, the Red Wings, who will beat Calgary in seven games. Crosby had 21 points in 18 playoff games. Crosby is still a 95 overall. The Penguins would just barely miss the playoffs, finishing sixth in the Metro. Sidney Crosby would have 39 goals and 98 points. The Columbus Blue Jackets would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Shout out Nasher. Kent Johnson would take home the Conn Smythe. Sidney Crosby is still a 95 overall. And the Penguins are back in the Stanley Cup playoffs. They finished second in the Metro. Crosby would have another big year, scoring 53 goals and 112 points. And we would end up losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champions yet again, this time the Carolina Hurricanes in round number two. Sidney Crosby would take home the Art Ross Trophy. As we head into year 10, Sidney Crosby is a 96 overall. The Penguins would make the playoffs, finishing fourth in the Metro. Crosby would be Crosby, scoring 41 goals and 113 points. And the Pittsburgh Penguins are back in the Stanley Cup Finals, this time against the Anaheim Ducks. Will Crosby go two for two in the finals? And we are back in the same position we were 
were in in our first Stanley Cup Finals. Game 7, winner takes all. And the joke's on us. We are down 5-1 to one in the third period, and it doesn't seem like any comeback's happening. 5-1 in Game 7, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Shout out Crosby taking home the Ted Lindsay, the Art Ross, and the Hart. Braden Point would take home the Con Smythe. Sidney Crosby is still a 96 overall. The Penguins would just barely make the playoffs as the fourth seed in the Metro. Crosby would have a decent year, scoring 33 goals and 105 points. Jorge Sanchez scored 71 goals. Holy shit. We have two 70 goal scorers. Is this what the future of the NHL looks like? We would end up losing in the second round to the Buffalo Sabres. And the Oilers would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Crosby is still a 96 overall. The Pittsburgh Penguins would end up finishing second in the Metro. Crosby would have a bit of a down year, only scoring 42 goals and 89 points. And somehow Jalen Shepard did even better this year. The dude scored 83 goals. We would end up losing in round number one to the New York Islanders. And the Seattle Kraken would win the Stanley Cup. Three things are guaranteed in life. Death, taxes, and Sidney Crosby being a 96 overall. Pittsburgh would have their best year yet. They finished first in the Metro with 53 wins. Crosby would have 42 goals and 98 points. We would end up losing in the first round to the Washington Capitals. And the Columbus Blue Jackets have won another Stanley Cup. Crosby is still a 96 overall. The Penguins would finish second in the Metro. Sidney Crosby would fall off a cliff, only scoring 24 goals and 73 points. We would end up getting swept in the first round. Yes, the first round. And the San Jose Sharks would go on to win the Stanley Cup. As we head into year 15, Sidney Crosby is a 94 overall. The Penguins would end up finishing third in the Metro. And Crosby would have a bounce back year scoring 38 goals and 103 points. We would end up losing in the second round to the New Jersey Devils. And Chicago would go on to win the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby is a 94 overall. And just like that, the Pittsburgh Penguins miss the playoffs. They would end up finishing 6th in the Metro. Crosby also would have a down year, only scoring 34 goals and 71 points. And the Chicago Blackhawks go back to back. Sidney Crosby is now a 91 overall. For a second straight year, the Pittsburgh Penguins will miss the playoffs. Despite that, Crosby actually had a good year. He had 35 goals and 81 points. And the Red Wings would win the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby would re-sign with the Pittsburgh Penguins, but only for one year at $9.5 million. And he is now a 90 overall. The Penguins would miss the playoffs, finishing 5th in the Metro. Crosby had 34 goals and 79 points. And the Boston Bruins would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Sidney Crosby now is a 89 overall. Two years left on his deal. Wait, who the hell signed him for 13 million? 13 million for two years for a 36 year old who's only an 89 overall, putting up like 70, 80 points every year. The Penguins yet again miss the playoffs. Sidney Crosby would have 34 goals and 80 points. And the New York Rangers have won the Stanley Cup. And just like that, after 19 years, Sidney Crosby has decided to retire. He would end up scoring 685 goals. He had 1,161 assists for 1,846 points in 1,558 games. In the playoffs, he had 59 goals and 98 assists for 157 points in only 118 games. Crosby would finish his career with four Art Ross trophies, three Hart trophies, three Ted Lindsay awards, one Selkie, one Stanley Cup, and of course, one Conn Smythe. He finished his career as the franchise's all-time assist leader and points leader. He would also have the third most 100-point seasons ever with nine. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. And remember, don't be silly. Wrap your willy.